Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Lunacraft here for another game review. This one is of, as you can see, Sangford Tales of Werewolves, Tome 1. This game is made by Artifice Studio. It was Its release date is on April 15th of this year, so it's fairly recent. It's an action strategy RPG type game uh, where you kill werewolves. You survive and make traps during the day, kind of like you would see in um, uh, Orcs Must Die before a round. But this is kind of, I guess, a time limit. I don't really know too much. But, um, it's my first time playing. Let's see how it is. Select a hero. Um, I'm gonna go with this guy just because I don't want it too difficult on a game review. Okay, difficulty normal. Uh, Jos excels in both close combat and with traps. He was a sickly child and almost died after a bad fall from a tree, but his mother, a famous Inu witch, used her magic spell so effectively to heal him that he grew up with an iron constitution and extraordinary strength. Dang! Lucky little guy. Uh, I guess I can't say little. He's pretty giant. I didn't, would not want to be in a uh, bar fight with him. Enticed by high pay, they offered him... Uh, by high pay, they offered him. Joe's took a job as a lumberjack at the W. Hood Company at a very young age. After the forced exile of his brother Jack, who was wanted by the authorities for a role in the Patriot Rebellions of 1837, Joe bought a little property in the village of oh, Wolvesvale, where he lives with his sister Josephine. Wolvesvale, huh. That's a little bit of a hint, yes? Let's go with this one. This one will be... Lunocraft! Continue. How terrible would have been if I misspelled that? Because now I'm stu I'd be stuck with that profile name. Click on a green square to load the day. Oh, that's cool. So it goes by the day. I guess, you know. Oh. Here, here, here she's speaking about something. Well, for some time now, many villagers of Wolves or Wolvesvale have noticed a lot of strange behavior coming from the wolves in the forest, acting more aggressive than usual. There are even rumors that they have been possessed by the devil. Recommended traps. Wolf trap. Hanging net. Spike trap. Oh, there's a lot of cool tips down there. Okay. Uh, uh, if you're defeated, try using the shout ability to bring back your enemy's fear factor. Okay. That's kind of cool. Let's see how this plays. I'm guessing there'll be a little bit of a tutorial. This is Chapter 1. Exile and Reunion, December 5th, 1858. As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine, father. what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest I'll forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. Okay. I tried to fend him off with the candle. Well, being a game review, guys, I hate to say it, I'm going to actually cut this. Because, what about the gameplay? As you can see, the cutouts are pretty cool. It's pretty smooth. It's nice. The graphics are pretty decent, but I think it flows so well. Um, WASD. Rotate the camera with that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hot specialist. Whoa, what did I do? Okay, there's some wolves. I'll be damned. The horses are dead. And your wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. The pack must be close by. Alright, now let's kill them. Can't be letting them have a single chance, man, can we? Kill the wolf eating the dead horse. Sprint button! Rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh, there's an exhaustion bar at the very bottom. Do you see the stamina? Can't let it alert the pack. Ooh! I gained six cents. Apparently it dropped six cents. I don't know how. Ooh, wow. The movement's a little bit crazy, but it seems pretty fun. Alrighty. Bridge to the village is burning. Looks like I'm gonna be staying with Jack longer than expected. Why is the bridge burning? Are the wolves like able to create fire now? Combat. All right, let's see your how this health goes. is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen, while your stamina is represented by the green bar. Yes, got that. You use stamina for each attack you make. If you run out of stamina then your attacks are slow and weak. You accumulate Dude, rage for each attack you land on an enemy. 
The fire on the HUD and on your axe indicates that you have some rage built up. Right click to unleash all your rage. Sweet! To evade enemy attacks, you can press the space bar to perform a dodge roll. Okay, it's pretty basic. What are you, wolves? Oh, so the rage is not like a mode that you unlock. Wasn't that a third wolf, guys? Uh oh. Help! Help! Please help me! Help! Help! Oh, apparently he set the place please on fire. Please, have mercy on me! For the love of God, please help me! Raw! Oh, I don't want to exhaust my stamina. Too many checkpoints, I gotta say. The rifle. To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. Okay. To reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. This icon That's appears cool. when your rifle is loaded. Your crosshair will be red if you have no target, or if your target is out of range. It will be yellow if you're auto-locked onto an enemy. If you oh, aim carefully shot. for the head, the crosshair will turn green, and you can make a headshot, causing maximum damage. Left click to fire. That makes sense. Headshot all the time. Yeah. The amount of ammo you have remaining is shown at the bottom left of the. Okay. So how do you get to? Uh... You're dead. Whoa, that raid shot was deadly. Hey everyone. What's up, dude? Get you down from the tree. This game so far is actually pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. The good Lord has sent you. Without your help, I would have been devoured like a rabbit. Yes, you would have. I am a god. That's what Joe said. Oh, I'm exhausted again. Okay, let's see. What's the next one? Fear factor. When you're in combat, the fear factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. Oh, that's the cool. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. However, enemies aren't as afraid of you with each passing second, in which case the icons start to get closer. Oh, I see the numbers are matched up. When your is equal to yours, the icons touch and your enemies attack. If you're running low on stamina, it's better to keep your distance and let it recharge. Be careful though, even if you have a higher fear factor, enemies will still attack you if you're too close. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I've got a while to go. 18, 19, and he's going in for the attack. He just hit 20. Oh, that is so cool. Very, very well balanced. Secure the mill. 
you know, I think it's good to prep. And the music alone is just worth the game, I mean, it's amazing. Alrighty, what is this thing in the very bottom? Secure the mill's bridge. I was going to show how to sh lay the traps. Or something. Pack management. When you attack multiple enemies at the same time, your chances for survival drop. So it's important to know how to intimidate your enemies to space wow, out their attacks. there are so many of them. There are two ways to intimidate your enemies. First, every time an enemy takes damage, its fear factor decreases. Second, the icon at the bottom of the screen is one of your special abilities, the intimidating shout. Press the Q key to shout and intimidate your enemies. Ooh. Don't forget, the distance between the two icons is how long you have before the next attack. Take this time to reload your gun and let your stamina recharge. Lastly, the paw symbol over an enemy's head means it's next to attack. Always pay attention to them. Well, that is cool. The church? out of stamina. Okay, I'm very, very terrible at this game. I can now tell that. <laughs> That's my brother. I turn my back for two seconds and he's in hot water. I'd better get back to the cabin as quick as I can. Oh boy. That was quick. I didn't know he had teleportation abilities. So if the werewolves here smell me, they'll come right after me. So let's start with the wolves. Oh wow. Try and get rid of them as fast as possible. So I can take Canadian whiskey. Yeah! Attack me, go, darn it! Wolf traps have too many. They can kill you off instantly, and they can also slow down work. It's a diving in to try and do a really cool attack. Doesn't work in this game. Oh, that wolf has. Oh, he was worth more. I'm home, lot of boys. First tutorial. There's three of them. Wow. I just want to get to some some of these uh, traps. Actually, I hate to say, guys, I'm going to skip those. The soul of a human is corrupt by the devil. It can escape its body at nightfall to go werewolf. The soul can locate a wolf or dog and possess it. Soon after, the animal grows into monster size and requires distorted fear uh, features along with greatly increased strength. Retaining part of its human intellect, the werewolf is a cunning and relentless predator that will often lead large packs of wolves. It's very resistant to all personal weapons except those that are blessed. Hanging net, spike trap... The, well, I don't have traps yet. I'll complete the tutorial, and I think that's going to be the end of this uh, game review. But uh, so far, the game's pretty fun. My Lord, forgive me. I know I'm kind of skipping some of the storyline. I'd do that in a let's play, but being a game review, there's only so much time. Here's strategy mode. In this mode, you're able to place traps in the forest to strategically plan your defense for the upcoming night.
Okay, see them? Omens. Okay. The omen cards represent Josephine's visions, and they help you plan your defense for the coming night. This shows the type of enemy that will attack. Leaving your cursor over a card will show you a lot of information about that enemy type. This is the number of enemies that will attack from this area. The attacking order of the omen cards depends on what wave they belong to. During the night, a new wave will not attack until the previous wave has been defeated. You can choose which waves you see on the map with the filters on the right side of the screen. And the only way to slow them down is by using firewalls. So, I'm going to set up a few barricades. The last icon on the card represents what their target is for the night. In this case, it's your... Way. You have to take the long way around to reach the church. House. I apologize for that, guys. Apparently I have... Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Steam Auto played a video of this game. And... Um, Apparently I have to turn around in the background. So if you guys heard it, that's where, that's what it was. Okay, so I have a new trap. <clears throat> okay, so wolf trap. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's, it's just like a bear trap. I saw that. That's kind of like the one in um, Orcs Must Die, where you shoot the thing and it uh, falls down and crushes them. So I'll say no to that. What's that and that? I have one dollar. Yay. Alrighty. Here we go, guys. Finally getting some traps placed. See how this plays out. Instant. That is cool. So it uses the mump though. Okay, so that's automatically set up for me. So I'm gonna See them, lead them back. Oh, now the tutorial. Detection. Enemies can see and hear you. If an enemy gets too close to you, it will see you and attack. The circle around your hero on the minimap represents the sound he makes. When you okay. move, you make more noise. <clears throat> an enemy oh, will detect you if its dot on the minimap enters your circle. Certain actions, like firing your rifle or shouting, create a lot of noise. When an enemy hears you, wow, a that's a big circle. Your feet. <laughs> this marker represents the last place an enemy heard you. Oh, that's All cool. enemies that heard you will go to this marker. If the enemy does not see or hear you again, he will leave the area after a short period of time, and the oh, marker that's a trap disappears. Alone. And sitting there with the a rifle. The circle on your mini map is the range of your shout. Use this ability to lure enemies under your traps. Oh, that is so awesome. Ah! 
Attack me, go, darn it! I miserably failed at that. Oh, you're dead. Yes. Good idea. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I could upgrade my character to reload faster. And let me guess. Oh, that thing is scary. Ah! Come and get me, you banshee mob. All right, there he is. I see him on the mini map. He's getting closer. And. I got 30 cents from you. And reload. Oh! Yay, second tutorial done! That is awesome. Now for the final and last of the tutorial. So far this game is great. It's a lot of fun. Sweet. Oh! You level up. You get extra gold from doing it. Night. Okay. Oh, that's full health. Oh, there's extra buildings. That's how many you can get. That's cool. So, continue. Grand Wolf. Everyone knows wolves form strong hierarchy... Er, let's get that word, societies, which are led by alpha males. Only the biggest and the toughest of these males are able to reach the ripe old age of eight when they become Grand Wolves. Movement two times faster than a wolf. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to click a couple extra times. So far, this game has been awesome. Okay, so... I know someone's going to be there. Action points. Oh, goodness, what's this? It costs action points every time you place a trap. Okay. The amount of action points a trap costs oh, to right. place is shown is in the green. trap info which appears when leaving your cursor over the icon. Some traps also cost money. Okay. To remove a trap, click on the trap removal tool, then select the trap. To remove all your traps, click on the remove all tool, then confirm. Makes sense. Traps disappear after one night, Except those that cost money, which stay until used. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see what this is like. Bonfire. Because I'm curious about bonfire. that. That sounds like fun. To light a bonfire, press E while close by. If you're standing near a lit bonfire, it will significantly increase your fear factor. If you move too far away, you lose the bonus. Oh, that is cool. This icon shows how much time is left before the bonfire goes out. Ooh, oh, that makes sense. Going out, I was hoping it maybe stay a little bit longer. Hmm. Trying to rotate, it's not letting me. Oh well. Okay, so that costs 10 cents. That is free. Place that there so I can call them forward. So the first wave. Wolves. I 
Does this cost anything? It's free. Awesome. Since they'll be circling around it. Let's see, where else is there? Oh, I didn't want to place that. I want to click on that. Alrighty. Here goes. Let's see if I learned what. Oh, here's my character. Cool. Detailed information about my stats, skills, item. Okay, that's my experience and skill points. Okay. Oh, whoa, that's a tree. Oh, goodness. Okay, what do I want to go with? Yes. Well. What is that? I, I can't get those. Let's bonfire last longer. Bloodthirst. Uh, that's not great. I'll go with that. And that's way. Oh, that's cool, but I don't need that. Yes, I'm sure. There we go. Cool. Holy bullets, silver bullets. Oh, wow. That's probably saying you can drop, you can drop because uh, you're probably going to be hitting. Hit, it's going to hit the fan. <laughs> All right. The devil. Apparently, you actually do fight the devil in this or something like that. Ooh, I saw the red from the bonfire. That's cool. So, updates based on the. There you see things. Chop you in two, you mongrels. Didn't exactly want to use that. Ha ha ha. Why is there a rooster in the map, though? Oh, that's a building. See how wave two plays out. Oh god, that sounds terrifying. It says survive the night. You're dead. Oh, that's still going. Come on, fire. Whew. 
This game is intense. Oh, that was all. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Well, guys, that is awesome. This game just gets better and better. Look at that. Oh, I made so much money, too. Night summary. The barn took a little bit of damage, but uh, I'm level 3. Yeah, I got some more money. Success. Alright, well, I hope you guys did enjoy the game. If you do like it, uh, right now, what I bought it for was $14.99 on Steam. It is Sane Ford Tales of Werewolves. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the game review, and I will see you guys next time.